Hello and welcome to Lesson 3, Catechism of the Catholic Church. Let us begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule, and to guide. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we're going to be learning about angels. So what are angels? Angels are created spirits without bodies, having understanding and free will. The chief creatures of God are angels and men. Now, men and angels, they're similar, but they're also different. Recall from the previous lesson, lesson one, that men that human beings are comprised of a body and a soul. Angels are different than man because angels, they are pure spirits. They don't have bodies. Angels also, they have brilliant intelligences. They're very smart. When God created the angels, he bestowed on them great wisdom, power, and holiness. Did all the angels God created remain faithful to God? No, not all the angels remained faithful to God. Some of the angels sinned. These unfaithful angels are called bad angels or devils. The chief way in which the bad angels try to harm us is by tempting us to sin. Some temptations come from the bad angels, but other temptations come for ourselves from ourselves and from the persons and things about us. We can always resist temptations because no temptation can force us into sin and because God will always help us if we ask him. So let's God ask let's ask God for help through the intercession of St Michael the Archangel. Together let us pray the St Michael the Archangel prayer. St Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. So what happened to the angels who remained faithful to God? These good angels who remained faithful to God entered into eternal happiness of heaven. And they're called good angels. In heaven, the good angels see, love, and adore God. The good angels help us by praying for us, by acting as messengers from God to us, and by serving as our guardian angels. How do our guardian angels help us? Our guardian angels help us by praying for us, by protecting us from harm, and by inspiring us to do good.